Enormous number of plants use this as their quality control device. We all have them, we all see them, we know about these. We all know that these do not measure consistently. We know that each person uses them differently. We also know that it's very hard to ask, especially if they are using imperial measurements, for an operator to use one of these. They're not a quality control device, and they can cost you far more than any value you see in them today. The alternative to that is a pair of calipers. Calipers are terrific. They're very, very accurate. But the problem with them is they're highly limited. This is six inches. You can get larger ones, but as they get larger, they become cumbersome and difficult to hold. So you're left with a proposition of getting inconsistent data from standard quality control devices. So Tiger SBC solves that problem. So this is a typical part that I've cut. It should be 75 inches long. To measure this using a tape measure is worthless. No tape measure is going to give you a valid, accurate measurement. It's simple enough to place it on the Tiger SPC table, open up the jaws, place it gently against, and measure it. That's a fairly simple process to do. It says it's nine thousandths over 75 inches. Who knows what my tolerance is? If it's plus or minus 10 thousandths, it's fine. But it was simple to do. It didn't take any skill level to do that. That's not the main problem. This provides you with tremendous capabilities up to 16 feet. But where Tiger SPC really gets powerful is when you have to measure different parts. A mitered part is very difficult to measure. Once you touch your caliper to that end, you've changed the dimension physically. You need to measure it differently. You need to measure it using the two main surfaces here. Watch how easy it is with Tiger SPC to do that job. Tiger SPC makes it easy for your inexperienced operator to make dead accurate measurements because we use a zero datum point. It means that the calibration point from the jaw face here is always the same. So I can snap out one jaw and put another jaw in, walk down here, put my miter jaw in, like that. Now I'm ready to make that measurement that we talked about that was so difficult before. I put my one end in here, like that, bring my caliper jaws up here, and bang, I am home free. I now know what my true dimension is because my zero point here is the same as it was before and my zero point here is the same as it was before. Now we have an even more difficult part to measure, which is a double mitered part. Again, you have the problem with the tip of the miter being compressed, even with fingertip pressure it changes the dimension of that part. Again, you have to measure it from the two opposing surfaces. To make that change though, look how simple. I just snap out this jaw, put in the second miter jaw, and now I'm ready to make that measurement. So I can place my part in here, bring up my caliper, measure it to there, and I now know that it's 24.178 in dimension. Very fast, very easy, for your average operator to do this without having to recalibrate the machine. Calibrating Tiger SPC is fast and easy and can be done at the beginning of a shift and only takes moments. Just bring the two parts of the caliper together, hold them tight, press the star button, and now you're done. You're on zero and you're ready for the shift. So here's a problem that every company generally has. Measuring a part like this for length on a Tiger SBC is easy. You just take it up to the unit, place it between the throats of the calipers and bring it back. I now know my dimension. But what about these holes? How do I measure a distance either from this end or that end for those holes? That's a problem and it's not easily solved until now. This part now is easy to validate that the holes are in the right position and in absolute terms from this zero datum point at the end. You merely slip this part into the jaws Bring your device down here, drop the pin into your hole, and now you know that this is 17.952 inches from that zero data point. The next hole is at 15,945, and the next hole is at 13.950, and so on and so on. Using calipers to measure from hole to hole is inaccurate and gives you a compounded error. 
This device allows your operator to simply and quickly measure from hole to hole. But wait, now we have the other problem. How do we measure the overall distance? Well, this is literally a revolutionary device. You just turn this over like that, lock it into position, and add the snap-on jaw. Remember, the zero datum points remain the constant throughout the proposition. So now we just bring this up and we know it's 46.205 inches long. I did not have to use a separate machine. I did not have to do anything in terms of changing my setups or calibrations. It was fast, it was simple, and it's accurate. Just measuring parts is really important and making sure that what you are supposed to be cutting and what you've cut is the same thing. But there's more to statistical process control, and that's capturing the data. And Tiger SVC can grow with you, allowing you to transmit the data that you capture with your calipers to either our simple and intuitive interface here, or to your own statistical process control software. It's up to you how you want to handle that data but you can easily transmit it to a Windows 10 tablet that can be linked onto your network, and that data then can be used any way you'd like.